Howdy, I'm Dr. Dennis Sigler, Extension Horse Specialist for Texas A&M University and Texas AgriLife Extension. I'm here to talk to you about equine energetics and to visit with you about the webinar that we're going to have on November 27th concerning equine energetics. Have you ever wondered whether your diet is high enough in energy for the amount of exercise that your horse is doing? There's a way to assess energy intake and energy status of your horse very easily. We do use a body condition score system to determine whether our horse is getting enough total energy in the diet. The body condition score system assigns a score on the, the body condition of the horse from one to nine. And we would like for the typical performance horse to be in a condition score of somewhere between five and six. Without going through all the details of the body condition score system here today, we want to uh, talk about the difference between a five and a six and, and those body condition scores below a five. If the horse is below a five, you're going to be able to see their ribs from a distance. A five, you can't see their ribs, but you can feel them quite easily. When we start getting a little bit of spongy fat over the ribs and we start getting a little bit of a crease down the top, then we're probably getting into a condition score of six and a half or a seven. So this horse is a, a very good body condition score for the tip for a performance horse. I would assess his body condition at about a six, and uh, which is ideal for a typical performance horse. Now, we also are gonna talk about in our webinar on November 27th, the different sources of energy and what types of energy substrates are best for different kinds of exercise. There are, there are differences that we, we need to talk about. For example, the long duration, low intensity type exercise, such as an endurance horse, uses a totally different energy substrate than a horse running a quarter of a mile in 21 seconds would use. The long uh, duration type exercise would use fat almost entirely as an energy substrate, while the short duration high intensity exercise uh, would utilize glucose and creatine phosphate as a source of energy uh, for that type of exercise. But we're gonna talk a lot more about those different energy substrates. We're also going to talk about sources of energy, whether we're talking about fats or cereal grains or other sources of energies that are available for us uh, to use for our performance horse and for our broodmare and other types of horses. So be with us on November 27th as we uh, delve into energy utilization and energetics for the horse and, and we will talk a lot more about body condition score and we'll talk about the different energy substrates that are available to us.